we'll guide you through how to play modded Minecraft with your friends. If you find this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. For this video we're going to be using Curse Forge, which is a mod pack loader and just a mod launcher as well really. So you can go and use this as well, you can use other ones but it may be easy just to follow this step by step so go and get Curse Forge. A big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. So while the method in this video is free, it does have a few drawbacks. For example, you will be hosting it off your own computer, so it will only be online when you're actively hosting it. And also you have to go and give out your own IP as well, which isn't always ideal. So Apex Hosting is a great alternative. They've got so many awesome benefits like one click install mod packs. I'll quickly show it in a moment. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. There'll be a link down below if you're interested. Once you've got your server, you can come to your panel and you can come down to game file and then you can click here and you can go and search for the pack you want. All you need to do is come to curseforge.com Go to the top right and click on CurseForge app or get CurseForge app and you can just go and download it as a standalone. Go and install it. You'll need to have Minecraft installed on your computer for it to go and work and then you're here. And what you can do is click on Minecraft on the left and you can then go and search for the mod pack you want to do this with. So for example, let's say you want to do it with the Seascraft, you'd go and search that in. It will then go and appear in this list. You can click on it. And where mine says play, you can click install. After it's installed, you now need to go and add another mod to this. And so other people, you, you, your friends who you can be playing with, need to do this as well. So it's probably best if they just go and get CurseForge and they watch this video. So once you've all got the mod pack installed, you now need to go and add the mod called Essential. So just go and type in Essential at the top here. And then scroll down and it's this one here, Essential Mod. So go and click on it. And then down here, just below sort of the main bit of text here, click on versions. And you need to go and get the same version as the mod pack is for. So click on my mod packs. And I'm doing this with Deceased Craft, so I'll go and click on it. We can see the version here is 1.18.2. Also, note the mod loader as well, and in this case, it's Forge. Now, let's go and find the essential mod. Here it is. If you can't find it, make sure the filtering is set to all, and go and click on it. Then go and click on versions. And now, you want to go to the mod loader and game versions section and find which matches yours. So in my case, it's mine is Forge and 1.18.2. So this is gonna work. So we can go and click on install and then you want to go and click on select a profile and we can then go and select deceased craft. In that case, it's for me, but for you, it may be different. We can then click install and it will then go and be added like so. Then what you can do is go and click on play over to the right and the mod pack will then go and launch. Minecraft has now loaded with the mod pack and essential. As you can see, we've got these additional buttons. So what you need to do is go over to the left and you can go and click on social. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to agree that you're either 13 years old and have parental consent or 18 years old, so make sure you are and read the terms of service and essential privacy policy. I already have, so I'll press continue here. Now, what you need to do is go and click on friends here and you wanna click on the add friend button and need to start adding in your friends. So that's why we all went and set it all up. So they should also have essential as well. As you see, you just need to go and enter in their Minecraft username and you can go and add them. When you've added them, they'll need to come to here as well to go and add you as a friend and confirm it in the friend requests. Then what you can do is once you've added your friends is you need to go over to the right and click on host world. You can then go and choose the world you want to go and play with them. So I could use this one here, then click on next. And it then says this will be hosted for your internet. Your host IP will be visible through network logs. So then what you can do is press proceed if you're sure. You can go and choose the game mode, the difficulty, cheats, uh, and share RP. Which then we can press next. And then here you'd have the option to start inviting friends. Now I haven't added any friends yet, but if I did here, I would then be able to go and click invite and they could then go and join it. And you can then click on host world and you can go and start playing with your friends that simply.